but to angular 8 tutorial and in this video you are learning in login and register so in this video I'm going to show you that how we will delete the record so as you can see there are two records and we have delete button okay for that we have written this code JavaScript and then word zero so that it will behave as a hyperlink but the link will be void means clicking on it will go nowhere so let's write the function click and then delete user so we are creating this function and inside that we will pass parameter as user and that user is actually the complete function now let's create a delete function here inside tspal so this is the code I've just pasted here the delete user here this user we are passing as model okay so this model we have imported here this user and then we created an instance of that user and now let's go to here inside the service and then let's change its name to delete user delete user inside that we are passing ID as parameter now here we have to uh, change the API name also delete.php query string ID so here user dot id delete user then user dot id we have to take this let's go to model users so let's delete this and simply write ID number now save it so inside this user dot ts file we have to create this model and as you can see the error is gone now And now here delete user and then delete dot php now we need to go to here in php file the rest api file and then delete to open delete dot php actually we have already there so we need to write here register because it's our table name and then rather than sid our name is id simply so the query is delete from register where id equals to get id now let's try so when we will click on this delete let's open this
create a create click on my tool and then delete so as you can see one of the record is deleted now refresh it and you can see one of the record is got deleted so the second one also got deleted so let's check how it, it did it work okay the second one is also now deleted now let's go to this view file here let me tell you that what did I do okay so I just wrote JavaScript what that code I have written here to make the hyperlink as void okay and then delete user dot uh, ts and in this file here we wrote delete user okay so we passed parameter and user is model and we created an object we create an object and in from that so that one okay and from there we extracted id because to delete id to delete any record we need id so we extracted id from complete user form now that id is coming here here okay as parameter to this function delete user function and that id is passing as query string here in delete php id equal to that id so as you saw that the id is actually coming from html file then it goes to view.ts and then function and then rest api so step one that one we extracted id from user and then the step two is so this is the step two we passed id as parameter And then the same ID is passing to PHP pal and so that the step 3 sorry and then ultimately the ID is coming here is passed from PHP file and that is the step 4 and the same ID is passing here so that is step five so this way this complete process works